Greetings and welcome, mis amigos, compadres, los estudiantes de matemáticas. Uh, trying to just represent the different nations that watch my Wati Math videos. Actually, uh, internet friends, my students just made the completely false claim that no one watches my videos. Just comment below and tell them how wrong they are. I'm looking at you, Philippines, my number two most viewing country. That's right. Uh, so here we go. Right triangle similarity theorem. We're going over last night's quest, uh, which had some tricky ones, to be honest. I think these are some of the trickiest theorems. They're awkward to set up, so follow along. Uh, we technically could have set all of these up before using right triangle similarity, right? Uh, these are all similar by angle angle, essentially. Uh, so that's where we're going to start. So it says angle, 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 angle. Find the value of x. So, uh, so x, uh, let's see. It looks like for this little triangle, I've got a long leg and a hypotenuse. And I don't have that for the medium triangle, right? I'm missing the long leg for this one. Uh, but for the grande triangle, I do have long leg and hypotenuse. So I'm going to compare long leg is to hypotenuse as here we go here we go so you guys had the setup right alexa here we go uh my alaskan viewers are watching 36 uh i think that's prejudice my brother lives in alaska not in an igloo so guys notice i'm doing long leg to hypotenuse Shh, quiet please thank you quiet please thank you no uh, long leg is to hypotenuse as long leg is to hypotenuse. There's a whole bunch of different ways you could set this up. You know what I'm talking about, 2048. Uh, we can now solve by cross multiplying. I don't know, do you guys even need me to cross multiply? You guys know how to solve this from here, right? What am I, what am I, a calculator for you? Does anyone ever search on YouTube, how do I multiply 15 by 36? Is there a video of how to multiply every combination of numbers? There should be. I so should start a series. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, divide by 30 in the wave. I get x equals 15. All right, so that one's not that bad. That's just really using similar triangles properties here, right? No es más small. Uh, but no, I think I should start a video about how to. And then I just do like the times tables. One video for every combination. It says it's wrong. Hmm. All right, Alexa, you can be quiet. Thank you. Uh, all right. I'm told that uh, the big ideas is like, what's the big idea? This isn't right. So, internet friends, you can fast forward if you need to. I'm not doing anything interesting right now. Or am I? I had I had my lukewarm cheese a moment ago. Ew, this is cold. I won't start a video view playlist of me eating my lukewarm cheese every day. That would be a weird a weird playlist. Uh, agreed, agreed. I am weird. Uh, so yeah, everyone got marked wrong except my man Leander. They said 180. All right, friendos. They said 180 over 13 is the value of x? Wait a minute. What? Where are they even getting those numbers? <laughs> Guys, I think I might agree to disagree with El, El Grande idea. Paterno. Yeah, Robert Paterno. Let's tweet at Robert Paterno. Hey, let's send the whole audience of Wadi Math tweeting at Robert Paterno and just say, what's the big idea, big ideas? Question seven. Okay. They'll know what's up. Uh, uh, 180 divided by 13. I don't know. So here we go. Here's uh, question 13. So, ladies and gentlemen, quiet please. Uh, Broccoli, you should take out your homework, follow along. You too, Jim. It's almost like you're wasting your time right now. Uh, we're finding the geometric mean, which is not the same as the arithmetic mean, all right? The arithmetic mean between 14 and 20 would be what, uh, 17? 
is halfway between those two things. The midpoint, not important. Uh, the geometric mean is not the same as... Quiet, Rob, thank you. Uh, is not the same as adding them together and dividing by two. You multiply the numbers and then square root them, okay? Uh, so there's a couple ways of setting that up. I'm a fan of the proportion way. Uh, you could technically use that type approach, but I don't know. I feel weird about that one. I feel like that one's harder to remember, but I guess maybe not. So x is to 14 as 20 is to x. Not the only way you could set it up. You end up with x squared equals, what's that, uh, 280? Yeah, yeah. Root root both sides, plus or minus, don't forget it. Uh, although technically these are two positive numbers. We'll only be interested in the, in the plus version for here. Uh, so I'm going to get x equals, is there a perfect square that goes into 280? Two, two, uh, four. Four. Oh, good call on the time 70. I'm liking that. Uh, so I think this is two rad 70. Uh, so I, I believe that would be the case. Let's get a decimal approximation, friendos. Uh, two times the square root of 70. Man, 16.73 about about so notice that is not the same as 17 which is the arithmetic mean this is the geometric mean little bit different unrelated uh okay these next two theorems are much trickier it uses the concept of geometric mean in them uh, and the tricky part is just realizing like what you compare in these. Uh, so the geometric mean altitude theorem says that the altitude is the geometric mean of the hypotenuse's subdivisions, if uh, I want to describe it that way. And the mean leg theorem says that uh, a leg of a right triangle with an altitude drawn is the geometric mean of the right i guess this divided by or not divided by compared to the entire hypotenuse all right so that's one setup for that one another way because it works for either leg would be this green is equal to a d divided by right not not divided by mr waddy what you saying you keep saying the divided by compared to the a b that whole hippopotamus there uh what do you call yourself not Mr. Wadi. Not Mr. Wadi. That'd be weird. Uh, so guys, take a look at 21. Uh, don't just assume, don't just assume that the variable is the thing that will be the geometric mean. I happen to pick both of the problems to go over with you guys that uh, had that as the case and where the variable is not the geometric mean value. Uh, so check this out. If I'm looking at this, uh, it looks like I've got an altitude situation here. So we'll call this what the uh, geometric mean altitude theorem, the GMAT. Uh, this is probably not related. I'm talking to myself, not you. Uh, so, so we're going to say that 18 is kind of the middle length compared to the 12 in the Y. Uh, broccoli, be quiet. Uh, according to the geometric mean altitude theorem, right? Uh, so I'm going to say 18 is to 12 as y is to 18. So 18 just has to be on the diagonal there. Uh, let's, oh, I was going to cross multiply, but you know what? I've got a variable in the numerator. Let's just multiply both sides 18. Let's do it. Uh, all right, I'm grabbing a calculator. It won't get any easier, correct? Uh, 324 divided by 12, is that divisible? 27. I get Y is equal to 27. All right, one more problem coming. Don't uh, ever. Don't. Why do you do it so weird? Why do I do what we do? You could have cross multiplied. I just realized that multiplying both sides by 18. You could write this down is almost what you could do. Okay, well, you could write it your way. For instance, on the paper that I provided you to do the homework and go over with me right now. Oh, I did 18 times 18 divided by 12. I used a calculator, my friend. Uh, so. Miss Hello would have made me write out every single. All right, yeah, we're we're in accelerated geometry. You're already expert algebraticians, but during algebra class, I might have expected you to write more correct. Okay, so uh, here we go. I don't know the altitude. 
So I'm going to use the geometric mean leg theorem. It's leg day. Here we go. And I've got the leg compared to the adjacent part of the hypotenuse uh, and the entire hypotenuse. Fortunately, we didn't end up having to do like a Z minus 16 value there. That would have been annoying. Uh, so let's set this up. So I'm going to say that 27 is to 16 as Z is to 27. In case you didn't know, some nations pronounce that letter as Z. Yes. Uh, not exactly. It's got more right triangles in it, but look forward to it, internet friends. Videos soon to, soon to come. Or watch one of my old videos, a classic on 9.4, the tangent ratio. Man, yeah, I gotta... I should make more videos where I tag the next video in it. It's just to, you know, get people... Do the classic Netflix, like, yeah, I guess I might as well watch the next episode and the next one and the next one. Yeah. It's not about the Wadi, it's more about the math. I should rename my channel Math Wadi instead, actually. Because really, the math is the star. Uh, you can feel free to record videos over my videos. I don't think you could do that, could you? Uh, 27 squared is 729 divided by... 16. Now, guys, question, can this fraction reduce algebra -titians? Now, 16 uh, is only ever a power of 2, right? So there's only 2s that are the prime factorization there, 2 to the 4th, right? Uh, 27 is actually 3 cubed. 2s and 3s can't reduce, so actually that fraction will never reduce. Bam. Uh, so there you go. Let's get a decimal approx on it, though. And I get 45, 45, uh, 0.56. Something like. All right. Well, thanks for watching, Internet friends. Shout out to the Philippines. Represent.